it's like 0.001% of the population could have a stroke and I just got lucky. 25 year old Amy Bergeron uses a bit of humor when talking about her stroke six years ago while in college. But the truth is it was no laughing matter. I was a sophomore, um, woke up with my arm asleep and I couldn't talk. I uh, didn't really think anything of it. She then got up, went to the bathroom and noticed that her face was drooping, but blew it off thinking she just slept funny. Luckily, she decided to text a friend who recognized the signs of a stroke and told her to go straight to the University Health Center, where they then sent her to the hospital. Unfortunately, because I woke up with it, they don't know if I had it when I went to sleep, when I woke up from my sleep. Um, they have no idea of the timeline, so they couldn't give me a clot buster. Um, the neurologist came in and asked me a hundred questions, and they kept asking me, you know, do you do drugs? Do you drink excessively? You know, did you do something traumatic last night? Did you fall out of bed? The answer to all of those questions, no. Amy says her doctors eventually ruled her stroke was likely caused by birth control pills. Fortunately for her, she was young and relatively healthy, so her recovery was quick. So I had the stroke on a Thursday. I went back to class that Monday. Thankfully, I got my speech and, and function from my arm back pretty quickly. Um, I did have two months of speech therapy. All in all, proving when it comes to a stroke, time is truly of the essence. The faster you get help, the, the better your recovery will be. And when it comes to signs of a stroke, remember this acronym, it's FAST. F for face drooping, A for arm weakness, S for slurred speech, and T for time, because time is of the essence.